How to Use Google Chat, Google Chat Tutorial for Beginners 2024. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be showing you guys how you will be able to use the feature Google Chat, which is available for everyone who is using google.com and who has their own gmail.com or their own Gmail account. Now, to be able to access this platform or this section of Google, simply open google.com and look over here on the right side. You will see you have this Google Apps button over here, which is indicated by a 3x3 three three box over here of circles. Now, this will only appear when you have logged in or signed in to your Gmail account, so that is a very important feature or a very important thing to do. Selecting our Google Apps over here will display all the different tools and applications or features of Google that we are entitled to use or entitled or have the privilege to use and access. And one of those features is called Google Chats as you can see here, which we will be focusing for today's video. So as you can see, this is what Google Chats looks like. It's basically a platform where you will be able to directly communicate with other users or other email users of Google. People who use Gmail accounts or who has their own Gmail account will be able to communicate with you and you communicate with them. It has several categories over here. We have direct messages and spaces over here. For direct messages it's basically you directly messaging someone through their email while spaces is like a group chat where there's multiple users inside of that space for you to chat you have shortcuts over here you have home mentions so that you will be able to monitor chats that have directly mentioned you and the messages won't compile or pile up and cover the message. You also have start over here if you want to favorite a specific message. To get started with chatting people in Google Chat, simply click on new chat over here on the top left. It's a very big button. And as you can see, you have the option to select a name or select a specific person which will automatically put it under direct messages or you could also create a space browse space or find apps over here or you can even check out message requests for people who have sent you a message but you are not familiar with them or their email has not been interacting with your email before it will appear here so to get started let's put in a random email for now random at gmail.com you can see when you put in an email, you will be able to see an email or this profile of the user that you have selected. Simply click on start chat and it will automatically appear under our direct messages over here since we are only communicating with one person. We're always or we are able to upload or attach a drive file or a Google Drive file and there's also apps that we could install into our Google Chat. We are able to format options, add emojis or use emojis in our chat, add some GIFs, upload some files, or even add a video meeting over here. Simply say hello and click on send and you will be able to send an image or a message over here. And when someone or when the person replies to you, you will be able to receive the message from this section over here on the chat section over here. You can also search something in the chat if you have a long list of chat or messages and you want to find a specific message. And you could also use the search feature over here. And aside from that, we could also start again and click on new chat. And you could click on create a space. Under the space over here, we could name it whatever we want. So let's say, just for fun. You could add emojis as the image or like the main theme of your space. Let's say a flower. Click on create. 
And as you can see, we now have a space named just for fun with the emoji as our avatar or like the main image. And as you can see here, uh, you will be able to collaborate with different users. There's also apps that you are able to use. So you could add members. You could add as many members as you want. As long as you have their email, you could share a file. You could upload a file that everyone in the GC or this uh, space will be able to access. Or you could also assign tasks to certain people, which is really great for task management, especially inside of Google Chat itself, which is really great. So we could click on add space task. And let's just say, have fun. And then we could click on, or we could add date and time, and then we could assign it to a specific someone as well. If you want to assign it to a specific user, click on add, and you will be able to have this as a to-do list or like a task. And then you could mark it as complete, and it will go away. We could click on active threads, where you will be able to see the different tasks and then you have uh, exit full screen over here which would allow us to view this chat over here on the right side instead we could minimize it as you can see it will just be here at the bottom or we could exit it if you want we could also do the same thing where we enable or we research a specific message inside of the space just like with how we did it with a random where we are able to search a specific message in our search history. Uh, same thing, you are also able to uh, use other Google apps over here, Google Workspace like Google Drive. And we have our formatting options, our emojis, our GIFs, our files over here. You could easily do that. You could also check out or you could also manage members over here as you can see where you will be able to view who the different members are, who are added, who are invited. You are also able to check out the space details, apps that are currently being used, and you could also copy the link to this specific space so that you could invite people through links. Uh, you could also mark it as unread, you could pin it, you could mute it, notify or turn off the history, which will automatically delete new messages in the next 24 hours. And if you want to leave, simply click on leave and then you can either block and report or delete all the content and all the content for the users who are uh, inside of that space. So that's basically the basics of how to use Google Chat. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.